One week away from the Super Bowl, y'all, and we ready. Computer, turn on TV. Computer, watch AT and T TV. Here's and shout out to everyone that bought that 82 inch Samsung on sale at Sam's Club. It's crazy. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'm back again with my 10 quart. PowerXL Vortex air fryer oven. Now my Giants didn't make the playoffs, but we did beat the Cowboys the last game of the season. So that's that's pretty close. <laughs> Anywho, for you guys today, as you can see, I'm gonna make you some air fryer oven sliders. So these are my sliders. These look pretty cool. And this is my uh, ground beef. I have lean ground beef, guys, because we don't want all that oil dripping all over the place. Because the easy way is to, um, you know, put this in a frying pan and, and you know, make your ground beef. But we're going to do everything in the air fryer oven. All right? We want to be difficult. And by the way, shout out to Karen Williams one time on her birthday today. I see you. By the way, guys, this is one pound of... Um, lean ground beef we're gonna go ahead and throw our seasonings in here really quick we're gonna keep it real simple today of course I got my pink salt black pepper and garlic seasoning it's the bomb if you haven't tried it you gotta try it get that in there that should be good enough and one other what's your sister's social sauce That's it. And we're going to go ahead and mix it up. Okay guys, so this is what my rolls look like on my rack. The bag came with four rows, so this is only three. So only three could fit on here. See? So that's fine. What I would suggest you guys do, I have a rack covered in foil. Go ahead and spray it and then um, layer out your ground beef on this foil um, so that we can have the you know a good uh, estimate of how much meat we need to cover the buns. I'm gonna cheat a little guys since I have the QVC uh, basket um, accessory and this is only for the QVC PowerXL 10 quart vortex. Um, I'm just going to form them right in here. You want to do it, you know, thin, because these are not supposed to, the slides are not supposed to be thick. But I mean, I guess if you want it thick, you can do it that way as well. I, you know, I don't think you have to, but I'm going to spray out my rack just in case. I won't cheat all the way. I'll at least put my lean beef back on the rack for you guys. I could leave it in this basket, but that, that just wouldn't be all the way fair. <laughs> right. Almost as perfect. But we got it, guys. Don't even worry about it. This will catch the drippings. And cook it. All right, guys, let's cook it. We're gonna take a page out the playbook. I already made burgers in this oven. I did 360 for 16 minutes. No flip. So let's do that. 16 minutes are done. Looking like a steak. <laughs> Now what I'm about to do is optional. I'm going to toast the bread just a little bit before we fully, fully make it. By the way, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Come on now. Stop playing. 
All right, guys. So what I'm going to do, you can do this with a knife, but I'm going to take off the top. Just leave the bottom. Well, and remember this row is had to be disconnected anyway. So we're just going to take these off. Come on, get off. And we're going to toast these for, I don't know, like a minute and a half each. Like I said, that's optional. You don't have to do that. Simple, I'm going to hit the bagel button and just um, switch out halfway. So that's 350 for three minutes, so like a minute and a half. Set timer for a minute and a half. One minute and 30 seconds, starting now. All right, guys, these are the bottoms right here. So I have some Japanese mayo, which is like a sweet mayo. So Duke's mayo would be fine. Hellman's would be fine. Whatever mayo you like would be just fine. So I'm just going to just put it on here however I want. And feel free to put some mustard on there, guys, if you want. I'm adding some sharp cheese to mine on the bottom. Now I want to go ahead and get those onions on there. I'm just going to just place them however. And then I'll just rearrange them. Now these onions are not hot. This has been cooling off for about, I don't know, five minutes or so. Try not to get any juices on there. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good. It's time to get our big old burger on here. Look at that, y'all. I'll put some Colby Jack on top of the burger. Let's get our buns on, guys. Trying to line them up. Here it goes. Finally, guys. Never used this before, but I saw this in my supermarket. I'm going to spray some of this butter on the top of the buns. I think that's just so cool. All right, we got them loaded in. All right, I'm gonna hit the bagel button again. I'm probably not gonna go the full, what, three minutes, probably two minutes. I'll just watch it. I'll turn on the light here. Guys, this is what we're looking like. Let's get it out, cut into them, and we're gonna have a bite. So now I'm just going to take a sharp knife and I'm just going to cut. And now we're going to cut across. Shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my videos even finished. I appreciate that. You first. You saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. I just finished cooking some checkers uh, fries. I had a little bit in the bag and I, I guess I wanted to finish them off. Have something with these sliders. Now I did put the sliders in my oven. Uh, my June oven just to keep warm um, and it they, they got a little crispy on the top but it's all good you know the checkers fries took about 12 minutes so it's all good but anyway let's dig in because I'm hungry you take a bite first you got it mmm
Mm. A Japanese mayo with the ketchup and the red onions and the seasonings on the meat equals perfect. Mm. Mm-hmm. Have some of these. Mm-hmm. Perfect. You got it? Mm. Too good. I'm gonna give you one more bite before I clear out. There's a big bite here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, this is fun, guys. Just having some fun with you guys with my Power XL oven. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. I, this is the first time I've ever made sliders before. So. I've seen them. I've eaten them before plenty of times, but I've never made them. And it was completely awesome. And I thought that I wouldn't have enough meat to cover all of the bread. But it actually, when I cut it, everything turned out it, Everything turned out perfect. So that was awesome. So, um, yeah. So everything I did, I'll leave in the description. But, you know, the seasonings wasn't too much. Flavors was there, man. If As long as you put my go-to seasoning and some... Worcestershire sauce in there. That's really all you need. And then, you know, some ketchup, mayo, if you, whatever you like. Pickles, I guess. And, oh, and red onions, man. If you got like red onions, definitely add them in there. Fantastic. But you know I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. So before I go, if you have this air fryer oven or any air fryer, consider joining my air fryer group on Facebook. We have over 64,000 members. We love to see what you're making in your air fryer oven or your standalone basket air fryer. It doesn't matter. Or your uh, Blackstone air fryer grill and griddle outside. Don't matter. We would love to see what you're making. Come in and show off. Show us what you, how you get down in your fryer. Or come in there and do a search and get recipes. Guys, if you have an Instagram or TikTok, look me up, Cooking with Doug, on those platforms. But that's all I got. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug.